All right, welcome back to the biggest bunch of damn clown clowns on the damn YouTube. Myself and Mr. Jeremy, it's been quite a fucking while for we've gotten down on some baseball. It has. Very, very, very damn long time, but let's go. Let's just get right into it. How about Spencer Torkelson getting set down to the minors in Toledo out there? We're going to start off with that, going over some all-star stuff and all that other shit. We're going to lead off here with Spencer Torkelson. Spinny T, his handle name on Twitter or X, whatever the kids are calling it, right? Yeah, he's he's spinning his bat down on the minors to a tune of like 200. Um, <laughs> hey, that's better that's than what he That's when got there. sent down. That's fair. He got sent down a little to um so the, the big headline with that is doesn't look like he's coming back anytime soon. The Tigers will have auditioned four different people at first base, yep. including Veerling yesterday, Canna. Um, which leads me to believe he's not. Yeah, Canna um, leads me to believe he's not going to be coming back anytime soon. Um, for the people on Twitter who keep saying, just bring him back up and see what he's got. He was sent down. If you listen to AJ Hinch, which I know most of you on Twitter, you don't listen to anything. You live in an echo chamber. <laughs> But AJ Hinch specifically, he was working his defense. He's the worst statistical fielder at first base in the league. Didn't know that until I looked it up. Yeah, I didn't um, think he was that bad either, honestly. Sure. I didn't. I think Bias probably has a large part to play in that personally. <laughs> yeah, but, throwing the ball a little bit outside. Um, yeah, so he was sent down to work on that. They sent him down to change his approach, work on his swing. Um, it's not about. Oh, he had a double. It's a home run. Send him back up. Um, the home runs he has had, he's had four. Three of the four were on non uh, loss wise. So he's going to be down there a while. I doubt we'll see him anytime soon, maybe in September. But again, he wasn't sent down there to wow you with a home run or a little double, cute little double. He was sent down there to change his approach on multiple things. He's not going to do that at the big league level. So, um, Good luck to him. We wish him luck. Let's see what happens with it. Yeah, it was, it's just weird. Like, I mean, you figure like a young player coming up, you're going to have fucking problems anyways, which he did last year. You know, he struggled. And then the second half, he, I think he finished with, what, 31? It is 31. So, yeah, 31. Yeah, he, he made adjustments. You're like, okay, he's got it turned around. Next year, you're expecting 20, and I don't think he hit his first home run till 40. It was like, it's 40 it was something. May. Right? It was like May. It was yeah. May, something in May. Yeah, 40 games in. And then you look at the other side, or excuse me, not really other side, but his counterpart, Riley Green, who both came up together. Riley Green's the real deal right now, man. And I've been I've been toting Riley Green for the last couple of years. This dude, you talk about like a two-way player in baseball who can hit, who can field. Riley Green, man, has it fucking going on. Um, we'll talk about him a little bit later, being a first-time All-Star, him and uh, uh, Scooble, but... Yeah, uh, Torkelson, I, you got to trade him, man. You got to fucking move him because his value Agreed. is going to go down the more and more he fucking struggles out there in AAA. The Tigers have such a bad history of getting anything in return as it is. I think everybody's gun shy, especially when it comes to Scooble. Uh, that's another thing we touched on is Scooble, if they're going to keep him or move him. But Torkelson, yeah, he's got to go. It's going to set your organization back, especially in those corners for the fucking infield. But he's, he's got to fucking get the hell out of here, right? I mean, would you would you move him right now? I'm, I'm sure you would. <laughs> yeah. If if Scoople's going to get traded, which it's a touchy subject. We'll get into it a little later. But if you're going to move him, you got to do it this year. He's got, a, what, two years of team control left. It's Boris. So you know he's not going to extend. Yada, yada, yada. But include Torkelson in the package just to get him out of here because he is legitimately roadblocking other people in the organization they're turn it around we wish him luck but i just i don't think he's turning it around i just don't yeah and you know the tigers have been uh i don't want to say hitting but you know uh malloy and um uh perez they've they've gotten some some guys who you didn't really expect to come up and really perform and they they're pretty much penciled in now every day in the lineup so that's good and we've, we've talked about riley green uh, let's we'll just stick with the Tigers here and just keep it going before we move on to some other MLB notes. Um, Parker Meadows, that's somebody else who got called down and came up. And unfortunately, he's got that hamstring injury, which is it's just going to fuck him now, it seems like, at least for another month. Um, he came up yeah. and really started to show the player he was last year when he fucking came up. I think that's a, a player that's sending him down actually kind of 
I don't know if it woke him up, but he's able to make adjustments down there. Came up and was really, you know, I wouldn't say hit the cover of the ball, but, you know, making some good defensive plays. He was really, though. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Uh, it, touching on the Tigers, like we said, Riley Green, first-time All-Star. I've been calling this for pretty much, I don't know, after the first month, that this dude should fucking be at least on the ballot. Really glad that he got in. Scooble. Scooble's in there. Um Let's just do it right here. So you think the Tigers should trade Scoople at this point right now? Yes. Oh, um, see, I'm under really under that. one condition. One condition, though. If you're trading him, we are not going for prospects. You are going for a major league ready bat or two. We're not doing prospects. I had some Red Sox show wanted to give me some team. I'll get the fuck out of here. If you're if you're trading, you got to trade for somebody like a Marcelo Meyer or. A, um, Rushman, like yeah. you got to get a big league ready bat because it's unless Boris radically changes his approach, you're just not going to be able to keep the guy. You don't want to let him walk for nothing, you know? <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm in the camp of holding on to him, and <clears throat> I'll, I'll try to justify it like this. Like, I know they're not bad. They're not the worst team in baseball. They're not the fucking White Sox. Um, they're around 500, which, which obviously we're all sick of and shit. But Scooble, Olsen, uh, when Job comes up, you'll have a nice rotation. You just, like you said, it's the bats. They need some fucking bats. You add a, a big they bat do. to this lineup, I think you're right around 500, which is nothing special. It's not, but you have a nice nucleus already. Let's just say Scooble and Riley Green. Let's just say those are the only two you can move forward with. At least you got your ace who's still under 30. Sign him long term and hopefully get this thing turned around in a year or two. Uh, what is this, Scott Harris's second season, right? Second. Second. So baseball takes a minute. I think a lot of people are quick to fucking hit the fast forward, but we got to remember it takes two fucking years to at least get your guys in there, and then it's going to take another year or two to get them fucking developed. Baseball is such a slow, sluggish fucking pace when it comes to turning it around. Although you could argue, and you'd, Agreed. you'd be right, Kansas City did it pretty fucking quick. Well, the, the thing for me is... And I am going to what about it. If they had gone for Seager instead of oh, Baez, yeah. this team be, and they'd be firmly in a wild card. I'm sorry, but the straw man argument that Harris had about blocking people, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> There's nobody being blocked because the talent of this organization is devoid. Like you've got people like Jace, Jace Young. Where, where's he at? He just came off of rehab. Why isn't... Yeah. Why wasn't he called up before? He was hitting the cover off the ball. Like there's guys in Toledo that are hitting and you're not calling them up. But we keep fucking sending Badu back up to hit like 110. Like what the fuck, Scott Harris? Like if we had another bat in this lineup, this team would be competing. Competing for the division because Cleveland's what, 20 games over, best record in baseball. Yeah. But they'd be in the hunt for a wild card. Yeah, this division's kind of, I think, had a lot of people... Kind of shocked what's going on. I don't think anybody thought Kansas City was going to be as good as they are. Minnesota, and like you mentioned, Cleveland just fucking on a tear right now. So, yeah, I think the the division you're in doesn't seem as weak as we thought it was going into it, which really long-term for the Tigers. Yeah. It's a little bit of trouble. Um, Okay, well, let's slide on here to the All-Star game. The best All-Star game by far. Uh, of any fucking sport, I, I, they Agreed. might as well get rid of the other one. The only one that I actually watch. Right. I mean, yeah, it, thank it's, you. it's truly the game as it is, as it's meant to be played during the regular season. Um, very young squad. This is actually pretty exciting for baseball. Just the young players that have came up the last few years, kind of like hockey. A lot of these guys come in after a year or two, and they're ready to fucking go. Um, 32 first-time All-Stars on this roster. 19 players under the age of 27 years old. Um I mean, you got Gunnar Henderson, you got Jackson Merrill, uh, you got Scoople, you got Riley Green. I mean, the list just goes on and on. Already with guys like Aaron Judge, who's out there, Shohei Otante. I think the goods and the the games are in a really nice spot right now, um, as far as the young players that they have. Just looking over the roster, Bobby Witt, another first time All Star, Mason Miller, the closer out in Oakland, is just absolutely tearing it up. Um, I think the state of baseball, even on the NL side. Oh, yeah, the National oh, shit, the shit, National League, man. Luisa Rye is one of my favorite fucking players. The closest thing to Tony Gwynn we've fucking seen as far as just a pure slap the ball the other side hitter, right? 
Um, you traded for a bag of peanuts, but hey, we didn't want to block any young bags. Yeah, what the right? fuck? I don't, I don't know what the fuck. He got traded twice for shit. Minnesota to Miami, and then Miami moved them for basically nothing. That's an organization that I don't think I could ever be a fucking fan of if I ever looked down in nah, Florida. Fuck, fuck, honestly, just fucking disband them. They're a total... Yeah. They're a waste of space, like the Coyotes were. There really is. And even, you know, guys just looking at the roster, like, uh, like Profar... This is a dude who was a top prospect in baseball in Texas and kind of was almost on the bust and went over to uh, San Diego and kind of definitely re-energized his career. Um, the game's in a good spot, though. It really is. And you just, like I said, just looking at this roster, man, there's so many new guys on it. It's fantastic. Yeah, it really is. Ellie De La Cruz. I was watching him, I think it was against the Rockies. Dude stole second base, stole third base, and then just fucking... Got called out at a close play at home, but man, some rookie. Yesterday, yesterday he stole out. second. He stole second in between the catcher throwing game to for the next yeah. pitch. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah. So, yep. So baseball all star game going down. What, all right, just touch another little Get quick the shirt little right here before uh, <laughs> before we wrap it up. There, I want to give some little shout out here to Jose Miranda. Twelve hits and twelve at bats. Whoa. For the Minnesota Twins, absolutely tearing it up out here. Obviously, uh, Scooble, his last performance was lights out, 13 strikeouts. Um, who is your MVP in Cy Young at this point? We're not going to do ALNL. We'll just do overall. Oh, I mean, can can you argue anybody other than Scooble for Cy Young at this point? He's the most dominant pitcher in baseball. Anybody that thinks that somebody else can just go jump off the Ambassador Bridge. Oh, the Ambassador. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say it. Every time he pitches, it's like Verlander was when he was with the Tigers. It's must see. So yeah. he's your MVP and your Cy Young at this point. Yeah, I love Scooble. It's it's nice to have a couple guys on a team that's pretty bad. Well, middle of the road. They'd be able to watch every every five days with him and Riley Green and Agreed. all that shit. Uh, I'm going to go Shohei Otani for my MVP. Ooh, yeah. Uh, He's turning up out Young, there. Uh, Lopez in Atlanta is doing pretty good, but I agree. Scoople's been dominant. A lefty throwing 100 miles per hour. Get the fuck out of here. There's nothing more you can want more than that. So I got Otani no. and Scoople. Um, All-star break coming up. Second half. Who's the team to look out for in the second half that you got your, your little eye on? Funny enough, and I'm not biased in this, the Nationals. The Nationals are actually playing some sneaky good baseball. And C.J. Abrams is... Yeah. And I'll I'll give an honorable mention. If Scott Harris pulls his head out of his ass and trades for somebody, Ty will be second half too. But that's dependent on a trade happening. They got to go... They got to be buyers at the deadline. If they're buyers, they're going to be fantastic. Yeah, good call. Uh, you know, I'm going to go and, and, and like we talked about, I mean, they're... They're obviously the as far as win loss record uh, statistically, basically the best team in baseball. But I'm gonna go Cleveland. I want to see if they can keep this up. No, I want to yeah. see what they do at the trade deadline if they go all in, which I'm assuming they're fucking going to. I mean, these chances, especially in you baseball, got, you got to. Yeah, you got to. So I'm gonna keep an eye on Cleveland, see if this thing's for real, if they can keep it going and run away with it, at least in the division. It's a team that really doesn't have uh, a lot of success in the postseason. So we'll see what they do no. moving forward. That's that. All-star game, all-star break coming up. Everybody enjoy that. See ya.